Hello learners and uh, welcome to Constant Learners. In this video, we are discussing the concept of multidimensional databases. Uh, now, to understand the concept of multidimensional databases, it is necessary that we understand what relational databases are because uh, most of the concept of multidimensional database is based on relational databases. We've already discussed relational databases in a previous video. Uh, I hope that you've watched it and I hope that you know what relational databases are and how the data is stored, managed and analyzed in relational databases. Now, in the previous few videos, we have discussed big data in detail. We know that big data is large volume of data and uh, uh, it is in multiple formats and it is being generated very fast. And we have also discussed about the challenges to store, manage and analyze big data okay but uh, our main purpose or we always came down to one thing and that is to be able to benefit from this data okay and to be able to process the data in the best possible way so that the decision makers can identify the trends and needs of the customers and why it is important to identify the trends and needs of the customers so that the decision makers can make proper decisions to profit their organizations okay so the main concept or the main aspect to be able to analyze big data properly is to profit for their organizations okay let's start with the multi-dimensional databases but before that just a humble reminder if you like my content, please subscribe to my channel and share the videos with as many people as you can. You never know who can benefit from it. Now, we know that the data being generated in the old times was small and it was structured data. That is, it was in a single format. Also, the data was being generated very gradually. But today, the data is in large volumes. Okay. And this data is mostly unstructured. That is, it is in multiple format. It is in the form of text, numbers, videos, audios, images, etc. Okay. And this data is being generated very, very fast. So this data that is small, structured and gradually generated data could be stored in a tabular format or you can say in a structured format where in relational databases okay so relational databases could store the data in a tabular format a tabular format means something like this okay where there were rows and columns okay and this table or this relational database stored the data in the form of two dimension okay but today the data is coming so fast and it is so large and it is in uh, multiple formats so this tabular format is not uh, feasible to store this kind of data. We need something more advanced, something more challenging to be able to store such challenging data. Okay. Now let's understand the difference between relational databases and multidimensional databases. So see, relational databases can store the data in a tabular format. So here we have this table. Okay. This is a relational database. This table here is known as a relation and the concept or the object on which this table is based or the theme on which this table is based is known as an entity okay entity is about which the table or the data is being stored okay now these columns here this column this column this column these are known as the attributes correct this is an attribute this is an attribute this is an attribute and these rows here, this row, this row, this row, these are known as the tuples, okay? And this one cell or one block is known as a cell. This is a cell, this is a cell. All of these are cells, okay? Here in multidimensional databases, the data is not stored in the form of uh, a table, but it is stored in the form of a cube, okay? A multidimensional cube. So this is a multi-dimensional cube because this is multiple dimensions so 
multidimensional database also has tables okay we can say that multidimensional databases are made up of multiple relational databases okay multidimensional databases are made up of multiple relational databases okay that is it has multiple tables can be combined to form a multidimensional database okay also multidimensional database has multiple dimension like see from here we can have one aspect of the data or one dimension of the data this direction can have one di one aspect of data or one dimension of data this side can have one dimension here we can have one dimension so it is a multi-dimensional database because the data can be stored in the form of multiple dimensions okay also in relational databases see i'll write here relate in relational databases we can use sql queries to query the database but here in multi-dimensional databases we use analytical questions okay to query the database let's understand a uh, proper difference between how multi-dimensional databases can be created using relational databases so see i told you relational databases are based on an entity okay an entity is the theme or the concept on which the uh, table is based on multi-dimensional databases are based on dimensions okay Dimensions are nothing but uh, sort of an entity only like see here I told you this is one dimension this is one dimension so there are multiple dimensions or multiple concepts can combine together to form a multi-dimensional database. Now here we have attributes okay these attributes are nothing but the columns that store the data here this is called the facts facts are the uh, ones that store the data. So dimensions are the concepts and facts store the data about these dimensions. Okay. Now here the table is known as the relation. Here the table of dimensions and facts is known as a dimension table. All right. Here SQL queries are used to query the database. Here, analytical questions by users. Analytical questions by users are used to query the database. Okay. Now, analytical questions, what do they do? They uh, refer the multidimensional database. They understand the trends and patterns and then they respond to the users. Okay. They analyze the data and they respond to the queries or the analytical questions of the users all right so uh, i hope that this was clear the dimensions are the entities that uh, uh, keep the records about the organization facts are the uh, the data actually that is stored in the multi-dimensional database now this multi-dimensional database has a central theme okay so one cube is based on one particular theme okay and the data about that central theme is stored uh, with the view of multiple dimensions okay so this cube is about one single organization or one single concept and the data is stored about that same concept with the view of multiple dimensions let's see how to uh, how this data is stored in the multi-dimensional database now let's consider the central theme of this database to be a healthcare system or you can say the a hospital okay now suppose this hospital has a branch in dubai and it also has a branch in sharjah and it also has a branch in abu dhabi okay okay this table is a dimension table here okay suppose this layer is for dubai this layer is for sharjah and this layer is for abu dhabi okay let's consider uh, this dimension to be the age okay so this dimension is the age here this dimension is place this dimension is age so let's consider 1 to 15 years of age 16 to 30 years of age for this column 
this is for 1 to 15 years of age and this one is for 31 to 50 years of age okay and let's consider this dimension to be uh, the disease or what problem the person has let's consider this line to be for heart diseases this line to be for orthopedic problems okay and this line to be for mental disorders okay now let's see how many children between 1 to 15 years of age have a heart problem in Dubai okay so this column or this block will have the number of children between 1 to 15 years of age that have the heart diseases in Dubai so let's say there are three children here okay then how many children in Dubai that is between 1 to 15 years of age have orthopedic problem let's say seven children have that so it will come in this cell here okay and how many children in Dubai have between 1 to 15 years of age have mental disorders let's consider there are two children so it will come in this cell here okay then how many people between 16 to 30 years of age in Dubai have heart diseases let's consider there are six how many uh, people between 16 to 30 years of age in Dubai have orthopedic problem let's consider there are 12 and mental disorders let's consider there are 9 similarly between 2 31 to 50 in Dubai how many people have heart diseases let's consider this to be 15 ha orthopedic problem let's consider this to be 17 and mental disorders let's consider it to be 11 we can view the data with multiple dimensions okay and uh, this is how multidimensional databases work. I hope that this concept was clear. If you have any questions, you can always write them in the comment section below. Uh, let's finally see what are the advantages and disadvantages of multidimensional databases. Now, we know that multidimensional databases have multiple dimensions and thus they have the uh, power to store the data uh, that is complex in nature. Okay, so complex data can be stored in multi-dimensional databases and it is very easy to handle and maintain this data okay so even though the data is complex in nature it is multi-dimensional but uh, it is so organized that it is easy to handle and maintain this kind of data also the data stored in multi-dimensional databases is very clean and it is reliable okay and thus it helps in smooth functioning and what does this give in turn it helps to improve the performance of the overall database okay now database when the data placement is simple in the database it makes the use more uncomplicated why because the person who is designing the database the person who is uh, storing the data okay in the database and the person who is maintaining this data in the database can be three different teams or three different people so all of these people must be able to understand the data and the database and help uh, for the smooth functioning of the database okay thus overall this is more efficient because it can store unstructured large volumes of data and uh, in a very uh, structured format okay but there are also disadvantages of multi-dimensional database because multi-dimensional database as I said it can be used for complex systems and uh, it stores huge volumes of data so that this system can sometimes be overly complex in nature okay so it is useful for complex system that is an advantage of multi-dimensional database but it is also a disadvantage of multi-dimensional databases also in case of breach like suppose someone has corrupted the data or someone has tried to intrude in the database then it can be highly dangerous okay uh, it can compromise the data and it can be risky for the organization also it is complicated to design the system because all the aspects of the data need to be considered okay so that was all about multidimensional databases. Uh, I hope that you've understood this concept. So in short, the data which can be created using multiple relational databases is known as multidimensional data. And uh, analytical questions asked by the users are uh, 
uh, used to query multidimensional databases. It stores the data uh, with the aspect of multiple dimensions. I hope that this concept was clear to you. If you have any doubts, any queries, you can always write them in the comment section below. If you have liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because more such amazing content is coming in the future. The next video is going to be about data pre-processing and uh, thank you so much for watching.